You may remember from the other week when we were fixing our back wall during a massive rainstorm that our rear window over here started leaking. We just have water pouring in through somewhere. Yeah, it hasn't leaked since that one time, but I would rather be safe than sorry. And this will be my first time replacing a window cell, so we'll see how it goes. Here's another look at the back wall situation. And if you missed that video, you can click up in the corner just... to see why we have this on our back wall. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, sorry. We probably could have swept before showing that. Welcome to RV life. So first step is to take out all the screws. I'm gonna leave a couple in just to make sure that the outside part does not fall off and shatter. Uh, that'd be horrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna take out a few screws and go from there. All right, so I got most of the screws out. I left three in. So I'm gonna have Victoria go outside and press on the glass now, uh, just to make sure it doesn't fall and uh, shatter. And then after I take the rest of the screws out, I'll go outside and switch with her and see if we can get the window off. Just keep pressure on it. It ain't gotta be very hard. I see a hole here. You can see daylight coming in there. So I got the frame taken apart, the window's still in. Uh, Victoria's holding it up, kind of pressing against it. I assume the seal's kind of stuck to the wall still, so I'm gonna have to go and pry it off a little bit without breaking anything. So we'll see how it goes. So this is what it looks like once you take the inside portion of the frame off. You can kind of see straight through. If you look close enough, you can see the seal in there. Also up here at this top corner, you can see a little bit of daylight coming through which I'm assuming means water could come in there. So we're gonna try and fix all that and uh, put a new seal in and hopefully no more leak. So I'm just working around the seal to try and um, get the seal to unstick from the wall just kind of evenly. Don't want to put too much pressure on one point because you risk breaking the actual glass. So just kind of easily working my way around. Safe. We can see where the water was coming in. Yeah, you can see, see a little bit of discoloring there, which probably means water was coming in. It's definitely dried out though, pretty bad. So, so you can see some discoloring where water was running down inside the window. You can see right here, there's a good bit of it coming in and everything. Um, it looks like this was the corner possibly where it was coming in. Um, and then just running down probably and pulling and coming in. This is the side of the window when it was leaking that we saw the water coming in also. So hopefully uh, we'll get the seal cleaned off the wall here and everything cleaned up around it so we can get another seal on there and it have a clean surface to adhere to the wall and uh, prevent any other moisture from getting in. So I'm going to use acetone to wipe down the edges. Hey Maverick. To wipe down all the edges and get off any uh, residue glue or adhesive um, to just kind of clean up the surface a little bit. I don't really recommend using acetone, especially on any kind of like fiberglass gel coats or anything that might have some kind of protective layer over it because it can damage that protection. Um, I just, I guess I don't care about mine as much. <laughs> so I'm going to use this and it really does do a good job at taking off uh, grime and grease and oils and adhesives. So. so I'm 
cleaning up the windowsill also. You just want to clean off both surfaces that are going to have a new adhesion um, to it or the seal is going to be touching. So the wall and the window needs to be cleaned. And I'd recommend actually spending some time on cleaning the surfaces. The better you clean them, the better it will adhere. So it's a good idea to, if you're gonna fly through the process, just take a little time on this. These little plastic things, uh, they fell out when I took the window out. They seem to be just like a kind of spacer. Basically the window will sit on these or this will help kind of just center the window in the hole a little bit better. They kind of just place right in this groove. There's a groove on the window that places right inside there. These are a little bit bent. I have some other ones that are on it that kind of just snap in, but because of these are bent, they're trying to fall out, but they just go on, go inside it like that right there. So these are uh, sponge window seals. They're usually used in um, houses, maybe a lot of times even on like uh, older houses with wood frames, wood windows, or stucco houses possibly, but uh, it's a high density foam. It has medium resistance to wear and tear, highly water resistant and everything. So it should do pretty good. It, adheres, it has its own adhesion on it. It's about the same thickness and same width as the, what we just took off. So it should just be a little bit better uh, seal. And I, I, I anticipate this would really last longer than what they used. It seems to be a better quality material. You can pick this up at like Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, which is nice because as you probably know, if you have to buy it from an RV store or a dealer or something like that, the price seems to be a little bit higher than what it should be. But uh, this is priced very good. Um, I bought a few of them in case there's any more windows I need to do. to put the frame back on and get it screwed down and make sure there's no leaks. I got all the screws in. Um, I went from like top right corner to bottom left corner and then just kind of like that to make sure it got an even seal all the way around. It's just a good idea. Kind of like lug nuts on a tire, I guess. But uh, yeah, so got it all put back together. Um, I'm gonna go check the edges on the outside, just make sure I can't see anything pa uh, past the seal or the window or anything like that. Make sure it's all just got a good, good contact to the RV. Looks pretty good. I squished it pretty good. should do. All right, that's done. Hopefully that window won't leak anymore. If it does, I'll just throw a bunch of silicone on it. If this is helpful, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you used for the window sill if you've replaced any. See you next time.